next hour or so, we've had very moving speeches from, first of all, uh, General Richard Myers, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, uh, then Donald Rumsfeld, the Defence Secretary, and finally, of course, uh, President George W. Bush. And it was President Bush who reminded the assembled guests who come here to pay tribute and to remember the 189 people who died here a month ago, that it was on the 11th of September 1941, 60 years ago, that they began the construction of the Pentagon building at a time when the world was facing the evil of Nazism. And President Bush pledged that the Pentagon would be rebuilt now, brick by brick. And then he talked about the various assets which the United States had. And in particular, he said, we have the assets of the people of the U.S. military. And it was that which drew him a standing ovation uh, for at least a minute or so in the middle of his speech. Well, now, I'm joined here outside the Pentagon by Rick Renzi, who was an eyewitness to what happened here on September the 11th a month ago. Can you just tell us what you saw that day? Sure. I was on the overpass overlooking the Pentagon when the jet creamed in at a dive bombing angle with such severity that um, the explosion, the flames and the smoke, it kept all of us down on the bridge, down underneath our cars. Could you believe what was happening? Did you realize what was happening? We knew it was a deliberate act. We knew it was an act of terrorism because we knew what was going on in New York. Um, but there was such horror and shock that we were all pretty much hunkered down in our cars. Now, what do you think this service today will, will do to help people through that, the healing process? Right. I, I think it's a great reminder, a very solemn, uh, honorable ceremony to allow us to thank those families that have sacrificed, those children who are now without fathers and, and, and mothers, uh, and I think it'll rec recall the remembrance of what they've given our nation. Are you personally coming to terms with, with what you had to see that day on September the 11th? I, I had a couple of sleepless nights, but for the most part, I'm just like every red-blooded American. I want, we want bin Laden, we want to help the people of Afghanistan rise up uh, and overcome uh, the Taliban. We, uh, we want to see democracy overtake these terrorist regimes around the world. But it's more than just revenge, of course, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's, it, we're, we're ready to export freedom again now. For a while there, it seemed the whole world was in line with the idea that democracy was the way to go, and then it, it seemed to calm down a little bit. And now the Americans, along with the Brits, are, are engaged in this fight, and it's, it's all about freedom. And briefly, how would you characterize the national mood right now? Well, I don't want to use explicitives, but the American people are ready to fight. We, we're looking, we're looking to, to take on... Uh, the terrorists all over the world. Um, I wrote a letter to my children asking them to remember that this campaign is going to be for years to come and it's going to be a, it's going to be just like my father taking on communism. We're going to have to take on terrorism. Rick Renzi, thank you very much for joining thank us here today. We wish you well. Thank you, sir. Come to the ice to play a fundraising exhibition game.